How's it guys? You watched another video. You guys see by the title on thumbnail. It's not clickbait guys. <laughs> we have someone interested in buying the F80 M3. It's not for sale, but with all my cars and everything I own, everything's for sale if the money's right. <laughs> <laughs> also to the certain person as well. You guys all know this person. I'm gonna show you guys him right now But he hasn't had a car in a long time in months and he's looking for a new car and Me, I'm also looking for a new car. I'm always looking for a new car as you guys know I want a G80. I want an R8. Those are like the two cars that I really really want right now I do want a vet too. I want a lot of cars. You guys see it all the time in my vlogs I'm always talking about cars that I want but like the main cars that I'm debating on doing is like a G80 build or Going straight to a supercar and getting like an R8 or something like that What's up, cuz? <laughs> I've been talking about R8s literally for years. You guys know that. One of my dream cars and one of my like first supercars I want to get. But yeah, should we sell the F80 though? That's the that's the big question. I bought this car like six months ago, so I haven't had it that long. But like I said, everything is for sale for the right price. <laughs> my boy's gonna come out right now, and you guys will see who is talking about buying this car. I told the vlog that you, you want to buy it. Alright, you guys. You guys gonna see me whipping this shit. 2024. <laughs> David wants to buy it, guys. Would you really do it? Yeah, hell yeah. You guys remember, David had his F80, Rock but uh, it it's gone. You get a G. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want to get a G80, but you know, this I just told him to get a G80 and then I just get this. Bro, they'll be sick. We'll I know. Be cruising all the time. The good thing is, if I did sell it to but David. We'll be cruising all the time. So yeah, I'd like, see my F80 again. <laughs> he has no car right now, so he's like, dude, I need a car. And I've been talking about getting a new car too, so I mean, it could work out maybe. I could see my F80 again. I probably could drive it again. <laughs> I'm sure David will let me drive it. Fun, and the uh, thing I do is literally wrap it. That's wrap it, it, different color? That's it. So I'm it looks like yours? <laughs> I don't know, guys. He wants to buy it. I told David, maybe. He's probably the only person I'd want to sell it to right now because I'm not ready to sell my car, but like I said, I could always see my car again. I could always drive it again too. And it's going to a homie, you know? So I know he'll take care of it. It'll be sick to see my F80. So, and if I did get a G80, that means we could like photo shoot both of them together too. <laughs> like I'll still be in the family kind of. I don't know. You guys tell me. I've only had the car for like six months. Not even that long, but realistically for like content YouTube wise, there's really nothing else to do to this car besides like maybe upgrade the turbos, rewrap it, but that is literally it. Everything is done on this car. It honestly is the perfect car for somebody to buy. If I were to put it up for sale, it has everything done. The new headlights, the new taillights, the carbon grills, carbon lips, TEs, coilovers, <laughs> carbon side skirts, carbon mirrors, carbon diffuser, carbon wing, new taillights, full Valtronic exhaust, DME tune. It has everything. The CS steering wheel, Alcantara armrest, Alcantara e-brake. Bro, this shit is maxed out. Anyways, we're about to wash it real quick, get it all clean, because this car is hella dirty. And then probably let David drive it. David's never driven it before. And his F80 was DCT, my stick shift. So I want him to drive it, see how it feels. I'm not in a rush to sell it, like I said. But David is wanting a car. <laughs> Who knows? It might work out. He gets this one, I get a new one. And then we have two. I'll have the G80, he'll have the F80. Well, I told David, I'm like 50 50 because I love this car. Honestly, maybe a little more than a G80. I love this car so much. Like I said, this is the first time driving it, so let's see what he thinks. But I don't want it. You like it? Bro, I've been driving a stick car since my Mustang. <laughs> Bro, it's literally the easiest car to drive. You have to get used to it, but like it's so light. You literally don't even need to use gas, bro. Yeah, you don't actually use it. You like how the clutch is going. Bro, I'm gonna buy this car. I'm into paddles. I know. To me, I think the stick shift F80s are like way more fun, bro. I don't know. I feel like I had a DC, I already have been bored. Okay, so on this, do I have to go like so? Yeah, you, yeah, you got a hella angle. No way! Are you serious? <laughs> you cut that low? It's bad, I'm telling you. This, it's honestly like the worst to drive, bro. Wait, 
for your car. Well, that's just great, dude. <laughs> well, this car is so easy to drive. It's sick though, huh? Yeah. I know you just have to get used to it, but the clutch literally is like so light. Bro, that shit is so sick, bro. I know, I'm telling you. The stick shift is the funnest. Bro, it's sick how it downshifts for you. Oh yeah, it has a little rev match. Oops. <laughs> there you go. It's a little bit funny. That's just hard, bro. I haven't driven a car in so long. <laughs> I know, David's literally been carless for months, bro. Bro, is the best part. <laughs> bro, this car is tight, bro. And right now it's traction on, so it, it caught it a little bit. If no traction, bro, it would literally slide. Bro, this shit is sick, bro. Oh my god, bro. I think I'm gonna buy but it. But it feels good, right? Like, bro, I think I'm gonna buy it. Everything just feels so planned. And Why is it so light? Bro, it's so easy to put the, like, I expect, like, some pressure, bro. I don't, the there's clutch? no pressure. I tell everyone, this is the easiest car to drive sticking. You guys, bro, I don't know why you don't have it on E. <laughs> my car was so good when it was on E. Not even because it was fast, just because it's like, so, like. If you guys remember, David was hella fast. This shit was a bad Basically, everything was full time and bad. You guys said, everyone sent him shit. Send him G80. Uh, G80. I, don't, I told him I'll sell it as long as I can find a replacement. So that's either G80. Why do you think plus? Belongs to the bus. Like Casey, nice guy. Cause he was telling me that I'll buy it tomorrow, but I'm like, bro, what am I gonna drive? I have no other car, bro. The GTR is gone. <laughs> the tooth oh, is a little ridiculous. Car is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> bro, this car is sick, bro. Oh my god. You can see why it's hard for me to sell it, though. I also haven't driven a car like in a long time, so. I know, but it didn't stick. Yeah, it should stick. I even told you could get one, over it. Yeah. You should get one too. We should all had. We should have had all. I should have been sick. We all had one. It would have been so black, crazy. Uh, all of them. Well, I'm telling you guys, this is the best car ever. F80. Best car for the money. Come on. You like it? Yeah, I'm probably still gonna buy it. <laughs> I just wanna sell it. I think like, if I show him the money, he'll 100% sell it. It's cause now, like I was before, I was like, yeah, I'll sell it, why not? But now like when it's really coming down to it, and it's kind of serious, and Dave is actually serious, I'm scared now. I don't know if I wanna do it. You want it, you can buy it back like a year from now. <laughs> I know, that's a good thing, he'll have it, so I can always buy it back later on. And honestly, I'll probably if I miss like, it. I put way less money than you put on it. I know. It's like my E92, bro, I wish I could buy it back. I don't even know where the heck is that. Last thing I know was in Mexico. Country, Last time I, I seen it. You know the guy who bought my E92? He was, he went to Mexico, I think, or something like that. And people were tagging me in my E92 and like TJ. For real? I was like, what the, a TJ car meets. I didn't even know it was car meets. That's crazy. The TJ? It's thick. So yeah, I don't know where the E92 is at, but I'm saying, if I sell it to David, I'll be able to know where my car is at. Maybe you guys tell, cool. them, tell them to sell it to me. Why not, you know? <laughs> Bro, come on! Hell no, you do it like when it's already like that, bro. At that point, it's just gonna kick out. That shit was sick, guys. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Bro, come on, bro. 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 a perfect car for someone to buy that. or someone to keep see bro come on let me buy it bro it's so hard i don't know i love this car. bro you're, not, you're never gonna get rid of your car yeah loki i think i for sure want to buy a manual it's fun right yeah loki that's why i kind of want to drive a stick shift g80 and see how it feels i've never driven a stick shift g80 so i feel like if i drive one it'll make me be like all right fuck it i'll sell it and get a g80 wait 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 nah there's no way but never mind because i want to keep i want to buy the car in one piece <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared? Your heart for sure beating right now. Why is it beating, dude? I don't know make sure there's no cops. This one really has oh, a backpack. Huh? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Guys, <laughs> guys, no one's Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Aye, 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 aye. Why you get scared? Now you, you did it good. <laughs> we'll see, guys. Comment down below. Help me out. We'll see, maybe we'll sell it to David. Bro, hurry up and upload the video so everyone can tell you to fucking sell the damn car. <laughs> He's serious about buying it, so we'll see. Now, we're stopping by my homie Isaac's place. He has like a little um, storage place where he has a bunch of E46 stuff. He literally is like the E46 person, bro. <laughs> when it comes to E46 parts or E46s in general, this is the guy to go to, so. 
He has a few, I already see them right here. I'm pulling in right now. A few E46 parts that I need. I need a hood, I need a bumper, and a couple other little things. So we're gonna see what he has. Maybe we'll cop a hood or something like that. Cause as you guys seen, we're bringing the E46 back. Oh my God. We took the E46 2412, so it's starting to get built now. We're gonna do a whole series on it. What's up, G? What's up, G? <laughs> hey. Damn! Nice, bro. Have you seen it or no? Oh, you seen it once, right? No, I actually haven't seen this car. You like it? Yeah, it looks good. Let's take it on. Should I move it? Nah, you'll be fine. Tronic exhaust? It's <laughs> sick, bro. It's badass, I swear. Red it's really perfect. No. Uh -huh. That's the only thing I'm missing. Bro, you need red interior. I know, I want red interior so bad, but... It's still clean though. I like this one better. You like this one? <laughs> bro, oh. why do you have so many E46s? Oh, because uh... Why, bro? Look at all the parts you have. Yeah, I got a lot. I got a lot of stuff, bro. This is a real M3 shell though, right? Yeah. Damn. This is literally... <laughs> this reminds me of when I first got my E46 from 412. It was just like this. It was just a shell. They had it outside with no motor, no trans. But it did have a rear end. My boy cut it already. This is a perfectly good uh, drift car setup right now. <laughs> this one's technically for people like you if you were to wreck your uh, quarter panel. <laughs> yeah, you cut can take it, it off. You know, one of oh. them was cut off. Or look, we have a complete shell right here. See, another shell. Well, we can make these into drift cars. That's a full drift car right here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that. Delete. <laughs> Bro, and it's an M32, right? Yeah. Got the, you know how they, they have the subframe stuff? This one's reinforced already, too. Damn, that's sick. So, it's a cool. Bro, he has so much E46 <laughs> IC seats in their engines. It's, uh, that's an M5 engine, bro. Bro, I got so much parts. <laughs> you guys know where to go if you need E46 parts or an M5 freaking engine. I thought I stopped by. As you guys know, I need a hood and I need a bumper. Is this the hood or what? Ah, I see it. it has a little damage, but like my car, I'm gonna wrap it. We're also gonna cut a hole probably again for the exhaust. So I don't want a perfectly good hood. I don't need a brand new hood. It's gonna get wrapped. You won't even see this stuff. I'm just gonna repair it somehow. But yeah, for the most part, I'm not that too crazy about the color or damage or anything because it's gonna get wrapped and it's gonna be completely different. M3 full swap. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. I know it has the bumpers and everything. This car's faster than an M3. Really? Yeah. I'm not gonna it's lie. clean, engine bay. Mixing it all up. I'm doing a, <laughs> the red conversion. Ah. Oh. So it's gonna have, I already have the seats and the door panels. I mean, I've had them, but. That's how you. The wheel this one. <laughs> There's so many E46s. Supercharged, this is hard. Yes. I need the bumper. You need the bumper? This one's nice. It has the wheels, it's red, and it has the trunk. Oh my God. <laughs> that is sick. I have carbon fenders for what? Pop the trunk? Well, this literally looks like my car, kinda. Carbon fenders. Where? In here? They're stolen! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the carbon fenders, that's fire. So, yeah, guys, there's tons of E46 parts. And he told me, bro, come through. I have parts. Yesterday, when I posted the video about the hood and the bumper, yeah, I don't know why I didn't hit up Isaac first. Look at this. Perfectly good dash. Like, perfect condition, too. Tail lights. Seats. Bro, you got everything in here. Yeah, I got a motor. <laughs> got a hard top. Oh, for the convertibles? Yeah. That's tight. Another red Another hard, hard top. top. I got Z4M seats, bro. <laughs> you should make like a little website where people go buy shit. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Clusters. Clusters. Bro, there's a bunch? Oh my god. Bro, you have a collection of so many parts. I'm like, trying to Isaac. He needs to like post it on Instagram or something and... BBS's? BBS's with a nice BBS. That's sick. I got all types of random miscellaneous things. Which is bro. good, but that's what people need. Like whenever they need extra stuff, like a trunk over there. When people do another bumper swap on their SMGs, little miscellaneous shit. I got more in the other container, but M3 motor to... <laughs> E46? Yeah, E46. It's sleeping, bro, so we gotta cover it up. <laughs> if I ever crash my E46 again, I'm gonna come here. <laughs> yeah. Hella extra parts, bro. I got a new shit that I forgot about, you see? <laughs> filter new me. motor mounts, new fucking bushings. Bro, he has so much parts. This is his baby. He said this is his baby, guys. He won't sell this one. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, supercharged. Supercharged too, guys. This is cool. I just wanted to stop by on the way out to LA. Check out his little E46 collection that he has. It's like an E46 uh, graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad all. If I gotta come back with a truck and try to take the hood, because right now, obviously, I can't freaking take this, but I wanted to stop by. He was like, just come check it out, because he told me that I had a little, like, <laughs> 
Damn, the supercharger sounds sick. Put some donuts in this? Let me do it. Huh? Let me try it right here. All right, let me move the, let me move the stuff. <laughs> huh? Jeez. Where are you going to put it up there? Huh? Are you putting it up there? Yeah. Close the door? <laughs> bro, I'm scared you're about to land bro, on me. Close the door. <laughs> you're about to land on me, bro. Please don't hit my car. I'll cry. <laughs> If you guys don't know who Isaac is, I actually had him in my vlogs like when I first started YouTube. We used to do a lot of BMW stuff together. <laughs> oh my god. It's food. <laughs> He's crazy, bro. Oh my god. No way he's coming back. <laughs> How'd she do? That's just sick. Well, oh, honestly, it's sick, bro. It sounds told, good too. Told you, fool. This car is badass. Damn, my hood was open, bro. Were <laughs> you about to lose it? Like, but you know what's happened to mine? Huh? My hood was perfectly fine and it flew open, <laughs> and it bent everything, cracked in half. Adios, Isaac. Adios. Nice seeing you. I'll hit you up soon, though. Yes, sir. I'm probably gonna Be get careful, that hood. Boy. Okay. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's try to do a donut real quick for him. <laughs> How'd I do it? I'm a professional. Spin him. <laughs> Bro. This car is so fun, bro, I swear. Well, that was cool. Let's go to see the homie Isaac for a little bit. I haven't seen him in a long time. And also, like I said, he has all the E46 parts that we need. We're definitely gonna come back for that hood. I just don't have a truck right now, but I need a hood and I need a front bumper, and he's gonna help me get those parts, so that's dope. Let's head to 412 now. I'm gonna stop by there if I could before they leave. Check out the E46, see if they started anything, if they did. And I also need to pay Sam, because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he wants the money to fix his car. Not sure if you guys know, but the E46 is gonna cost a lot of money to bring back. Let's see what's new here. Also, let's go see my E46. See where they have it right now. Man, look at these wheels, bro. How much are these? What, like 10 grand? <laughs> for one? About six or seven. Six? For one, for one dude. Six thousand dollars for one wheel, imagine. Damn, what is this? Is it GT4? Bro, oh, GT4 RS. New McLaren, this is pretty nice. Yours, some drift cars. <laughs> Damn, what the heck? Got the car and fire fender on it. Bro, it always trips me out when you got a brand new like F chassis like this. Damn, I thought my shit was sitting long. <laughs> Bro, she got more dust than mine. It was all car and fiber in there. I don't think it's a drift car. I think it's more like a race car, track car. Who's Sam? You must be Indian. Why? You have Indian blood in you. <laughs> I'm gonna go broke or what? No. Broke? I'm Bro, you're barely spending any money. <laughs> I know. This is what make you broke. I know. Look at this thing. I haven't even showed it. Sam bought an E30 well, M3, guys. Yet, not, nope. I'm gonna show it. Show. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's almost done. E30 M3. Yeah. It was like his dream car. It is my dream car. And he finally is making it happen. And after this, it's gonna get bubble drop, vacuum, and put away. <laughs> you're not gonna drive it? Nope. It looks good with those wheels. The interior is so nice, too. It's a real M3. You got it all freshly painted, all restored interior, exterior. He's trying to make it OEM too, because I told him, knowing Sam, I was like, are you gonna turbo it? But he was like, nope, not this car. This car's staying OEM. Perfect like Malibu cruise car, huh? All of us have like Lambos. My, my dream car is SVJ. Sam's dream car, E30 M3. I would this car over any Lambo, any Ferrari, any, <laughs> See? any car. I know the you only, would. The only car I would choose over this is an actual Formula One car. <laughs> Nothing else. I know. All this Ferrari, Lamborghini, they're all. <laughs> I want an SVJ. Money. But yeah, this is Sam's dream car, guys. You know How are we gonna fix my car? Yes. Yeah, Finally. Fine. Finally. 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 I know. Later. That's step one. E85 injector Glock. <laughs> Bro, I don't know how long E85 has been in there. It did? Yeah. Bro, I was trying to start it. We drove it. Shut up, bro. Well, we drove it in the back. No, you didn't. Yeah, we drove it in the back. Does it start though? Bro, this is so crazy to see. They're wrapping this hurricane right now, but look at all the parts that you gotta take off. Just to hide all the red. Cause the paint's red. 
To cover it up correctly, you gotta take it all apart like this. Look, the exhaust tips, headlights, windows, look, even the glass windows. I remember when I was wrapping cars, we had to take this out of one of the Lambos and it's the scariest job ever, bro. You break one of these, there's a brand new freaking Lambo too. Look at it. Brand new Huracan Evo, already taken apart. I don't know why this guy's wrapping it. I would've kept it, you guys know me. Red, with the red interior too. Red accents. This is the finding next spec, bro. I will not wrap it. <laughs> Sadie. What's up, Sadie? This is the attack dog. <laughs> the phone to security dog. You want this? You walk in here and she don't know you? You gonna come out with the missing arm. <laughs> you like me? Good girl. Just don't kill me. I'll give you as many treats as possible. Just don't kill me, okay? Sit. Good girl. She kind of knows me because I, I come back here a lot and I always give her treats so that she can remember me <laughs> to not eat me. I'm a friend, not food. Good girl. Yeah, she's crazy though. I think Joseph could tell her one word and she'll attack. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, good girl. Sit. Anyways, look it. This is what we came here for, guys. My E46 is back, bro, finally. Are you taking care of it, Sadie? Don't let nobody touch it, okay? If someone tries to come steal it, Bite their hand off. <laughs> I'm so happy to see it here at Phone 2 because that means progress is about to happen. Sam said it did start, which is crazy because if you guys remember, about a month or so ago, I tried to start it on my own. We had a jump box on it. We were trying to start it, but it probably had no gas. I bet you Sam put gas in it and that's when it started. What the? Sadie, were you already in here? No. <laughs> she was already in here, bro, I could tell. Oh, it's dead. It's not gonna start. Anyways, Sam said it did start, guys. She's scaring me, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> She's sniffing me a little too much. No, Sadie. Sit. Go ahead. I feel like she's gonna bite me, bro. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. A list of things I need to zone for. Coilovers. So first things first, coilovers, guys. So this car already has coilovers on it, but as you guys seen, we damaged the entire coilover, so it completely snapped off. From the coilover to the top hat, it's not even connected anymore. It's completely snapped off. Dan wants me to buy his upgraded coilovers. He has like really, really good suspension that he bought for his drift car, but he's not using it after all. So we might do coilovers. I got a zone for that. <laughs> Tie rod ends, probably broke those. Front complete knuckles, I broke those. Rack and pinion, broke that. Doing oil change, of course. The car's been sitting for a long time. Clean the injectors, maybe change the spark plugs. I gotta buy the screen, that's another, it's probably one of the most expensive things I gotta buy, but I'm gonna buy the screen right here. I'll show you on the other car. Those are the necessities that we need to get done this week. Sam said he already ordered the parts, so by maybe next week, this car will be running and driving and we can hear it, it'll be sick. See a screen like that, it'll be sick. Cause right now I don't even have a dash. <laughs> I can't even see my RPMs, my speed, nothing. But this thing will tell you everything. If the car is overheating, the RPMs, everything like that. Right now we took the whole cluster out of my E46 and we've been driving it with, like that, without a dash, guys. <laughs> this just showed up from Italy. <laughs> it's so badass. HP Garage for building this for the new car. This has new drift car, another one. Another dude. one, I didn't like the one series. <laughs> It's too many drift cars. It's gonna be sick. It's building an entire new car, guys. New shell, new engine. I need to start YouTube. I know. I've been I should, telling you. I should make a YouTube channel. Yes, bro. Because, bro, I swear, I get a lot of people asking me about this. I know. And some people like the more engine stuff that I don't know about. People get mad at me because I don't know shit about cars. <laughs> but Sam knows everything. And I know people would actually want to see that. I should I'm going down to Rome, install the new motor. Be sick. Sam said this is actually a BMW race car. Like it's built by BMW. BMW. Built by BMW. That's crazy. Yeah, the cage is like all official, huh? BMW and everything. Yeah. The actual BMW but race it car. It was set like in a... Outside? Outside in the storm. <laughs> they did not take care of it. That sucks. Nobody take care of it. Shit is dirty, bro. It's really a layer of dust all inside. That was cool. Got to see my E46. Stay tuned for a lot of E46 content, guys. Finally bringing it back to life. Once like the engine is all refreshed and up and running and the coilovers and suspensions all fixed, then we can focus on like making it look pretty again. So putting the hood on it, the front bumper, possibly wide body in it, and then doing a full livery on it. That's another thing, should I do a livery on it? Or should we keep it like clean, like street car look? So like just one solid color how it is right now. 
or like a race car livery, make it look like a Formula Drift car. If you guys enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already. And everybody else who has not got their order, I promise your order is on the way. Please be patient with me. By next week, all the orders should be out completely. So thank you guys for everyone that's being patient and thank you everyone who placed an order. I appreciate it so much. It literally means so much to me that you guys cop the merch. And yeah, new merch coming soon too. I'm also working on that behind the scenes. A lot of stuff happening, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.